Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to share with you some of my favorite bathroom zero waste swaps and in order to avoid to repeat again that you need to change to a bamboo toothbrush I try to find some swaps that are not that much common, not that much talked about and because my bathroom is extremely small and there's no light whatsoever I can't film in there so I brought out my basket this is a very very old basket and it is actually what I use in the bathroom to organize all my stuff and I will show you it from here. Also, I will try to link down below everything I can, just in case you want to check something out. Without further ado though, let's get started. We have a brush. Now, an organic brush is not only better for the environment, because of course it's completely compostable, but it's also better for your hair, because it breaks less hair and it makes them less frizzy than a plastic one. If you have ever used a tangle teaser, for me this works exactly the same without being plastic. Mine comes from a small heritage French brand called André Dujardin, which I absolutely love. It's a small company, uh, they are specialized in brushes of all kind from cleaning brushes to uh, like personal care which I find it amazing and I have a couple of products from them so I can really stand by the quality of the products and sustainability wise they are doing great. The only problem I have with this brush is that it's actually done with the wild boar hair which <laughs> doesn't make me very happy but it is my fault because I didn't think of asking that and I discovered it only after I used it so of course I couldn't return it but they do have vegan options. Staying on the hair department we have scrunchies. Now you know how much I love these scrunchies. I use them all the time. Now this is actually a low waist option rather than a full zero waist because in case you don't know the elastic inside is still plastic so be mindful with how many you have and also how many you lose uh, but apart from that I think it's a very nice way to reuse scrub fabric they are way more gentle on your hair because they break less hair again and also they are super nice now I can't really link this one below because uh, this one I bought years ago at a Christmas market directly from the guy who made it and I have no idea who is and uh, uh, the second one I actually found it on the street so then we have actually another uh, dental product, uh, but I honestly think that the, the floss is a lot less talked about than the bamboo toothbrush, don't know why. And I will be very, very honest, the only reason why I bought this is that, as you can see, it's super, super tiny and uh, it is thin, um, so it's uh, unbreakable and it's very easy to pop into my work bag without it to be too noticeable. So that was my preference, but honestly, I would buy it even uh, uh, if I didn't care about sustainability at all because in my experience it works way way better than the disposable ones and it has the same minty smell of my grandma candies I do understand that that's very personal but it has a very nice smell nonetheless also mine is completely made out of cornstarch so um, it's completely compostable and the tin outside is well it is recyclable but you don't really need to do that often because it's actually reusable so the next time I will just need to buy the refill. Then we have a body scrub actually there are two options that I can propose you the first one is my favorite and that is a loofah unfortunately mine completely worn out so I can't show it to you but a loofah is just a sponge but this is a plant-based one instead of being the plastic one and it is absolutely fantastic it scrubs the hell out of you but still being super gentle on the skin don't ask me how it's that possible but it is possible um, also it is a quite cheap product and it's very easy to find so that's a good thing the only problem a loofah has is that it is organic so especially considering that normally you keep it in the bathroom that is like a humid environment it grows germs like heck so you do need to replace on average once per month so even if they are cheap it adds up quite fast so you need to consider that another option is something like this this is again from Andre Dujardin and uh, this is a dry scrub so you don't use it in the shower you use it outside and it's supposed not only to scrub your skin but also to improve the circulation you should uh, like scrub it like this uh, towards the heart and it should do magic does it work i have no idea honestly because this is actually a gift that i need to give so i never used it 
but yeah that's a good option it's way more expensive than a loofah to be honest um, but at least uh, this is something that you, you need to replace like every x amount of years not every month and these were my swaps for today as I said I tried to find things that were not uh, as uh, much talked about as others uh, and I will admit that actually I find it quite difficult to find good swaps this time compared to the kitchen video and that's uh, partly because honestly it's taken me like a long time to run through all the old uh, uh, products that still come in plastic because of course I'm finishing all of them before buying new ones and that takes time but also because honestly I still finding some struggle to find a product that works for example when it comes to a hair product or a toothpaste I still makeup I didn't find a very good alternative yet so I'm not comfortable in uh, advising them if I don't think they are fantastic product if that makes sense and as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please giving it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel it would mean the world to me to grow this small little channel so thank you so much and until the next time bye